Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, beautiful people. Today, I'm going to be talking about a totally different subject than usual, but today I just wanted to talk about the connection between Islam and the mustache man. Now, a lot of you guys may not even know there is a connection between the two, but there is, and this connection actually is very biblical. It's historical, and it's Quranical, if you want to call it right and so whenever you look at islam and you look at the connection with the mustache man i think everyone knows who i'm talking about mr h mr a h right i can't say the name because obviously i don't want this video to not be spread to multiple people that's the whole message of sharing the truth about this so there is a wide huge connection between islam and the mustache man during a uh, specific world war that happened around the 50s to 40s and so this is what i want to talk about because this will kind of like spread light upon the truth behind the false religion islam and it, it's really interesting guys so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys historical uh evidence for the claims that i'm making and also evidence within the quran and the hadith that they actually support this uh this thing where they want to work together to go ahead and have world domination and specifically not only do they want to have world domination but they actually have a thing towards a specific type of people in israel right so i think that kind of gets my point across i'm going to go ahead and share my screen before i get into this i highly recommend two books that i just want to go ahead and recommend to you guys really quickly and uh, you don't have to go ahead and buy these books. You could go ahead and just do research, kind of like me. But the only reason why I highly recommend them is so that if you guys want to do extensive research and you guys want to have credible sources, it just makes it a lot more easier to do it. But you absolutely don't have to do it, guys. So let me go ahead and share my screen so that you guys can see. So now that you guys can see it, let me go ahead and uh, adjust my face cam real quick. So, yeah, as you guys can see here, I highly recommend Icon of Evil. If you guys can go ahead and um, get it, as you guys can see, I purchased this December 30th, 2022. Um, but if you're not able to purchase it because I know it's so expensive, um, you know, $200, $40, $50 and then $15. Very, very expensive. I definitely recommend this one right here. Um, the Islam and Nazi Germany's war. If you guys want to, you guys can go ahead and click the link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and purchase it. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're pretty good reads, so I highly recommend them. But as far as the Wikipedia, I wanted to show you guys something here that I found really interesting because as it states here, Muhammad was actually seen by as, as a weak man compared to this man who worked with Hitler because he actually thought that Muhammad was a weak leader for not being more critical of the Jews. And he talked about this a lot while he was alive. He was kind of like their version of the Pope. He was literally the Islamic Pope, and he was trying to bring back the Ottoman Empire. So as you guys can see here, it states, in public and private, Adolf Hitler and um, um, sorry, guys, I should have not said, but you know what I mean, and Heinrich Himmler, which we know who that is, made complimentary statements about Islam as both a religion and political ideology, describing it as a more disciplined, militaristic, political, and practical form of religion than Christianity is. Now, the reason why it was seen as more practical than Christianity is because it's not a militaristic religion. It's not a political religion or practice. That's not at all what Christianity is, but Islam is. And so Hitler knew how demonic and satanic and diabolic Islam was. So this is the reason why he wanted to work together with the Islamic Messiah or the Islamic Pope, whatever you want to call him at that time. And he wanted to work with them in order to have the common enemy of Israel. And so he did this. reason and so even though it still for inferior they still wanted to work together just because they both had that common enemy and so this kind of shows the fruit of islam it shows how satanic and diabolical islam is to this day and this is why you see all the propaganda against israel in support of Hamas and support of islam and the islamic nations guys they're satanic they want us christians to revolt against the jews and work together with the muslims 
guys, this is really satanic. This is just as bad as us teaming up with Roman Catholics and Eastern Orthodox. So we have to stick true to the word of God. And I actually wanted to show you guys another verse too. But this verse is in their Hadith or their Quran, right? It says, I will cast terror into the hearts of those who have disbelieved. So strike them over the necks and smite over all their fingers and toes. This is because they defiled and disobeyed Allah and his messenger. So pretty much we're apparently disobedient to Allah because we're Christians and Jews. And so he's saying to cast terror into their hearts. That's what he's instructing Muslims to do. Those who disbelieve strike their necks. What does that mean? To behead us. Right. And then it gets worse, guys, because as you read in the Quran, for those that are Quranists only Muslims, it claims fight those who do not believe in Allah in the last day, nor comply with what Allah and his messenger have forbidden, nor embrace the religion of truth from among those who were given the scripture until they paid the tax, which is jizya, guys, willingly submitting, fully humbled. The Jews say Ezra is the son of Allah, while the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. Such are their baseless assertions, only parroting the words of earlier disbelievers. May Allah condemn them. How can they be deluded from the truth? They have taken the rabbis and monks, as well as their Messiah, son of Mary, as lords besides Allah. And they thought they were commanded to worship none but one God. <laughs> there is no God worthy of worship except him. Glorified is he above what they associate with him. So basically what they're saying, and there's so many issues with this chapter alone, but basically what they're saying is that Christians and Jews are disbelievers. But to make it worse, guys, they literally, again, they're calling, they're basically saying that Christians worship Mary as a part of the Trinity. We do not worship Mary as a part of the Trinity, guys. We do not. Even if you look at Roman Catholics and Eastern Orthodox, even if you want to claim they worship Mary, guess what? That's not a part of the Trinity, guys. Because even Roman Catholics and Eastern Orthodox affirm of the Trinity, that would just be four gods, right? So they would worship four gods, not three gods. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Even if you want to look at it from an ignorant Islamic perspective, that's how you should see it. It's four, not three, right? But reality is us as Christians, we worship a monotheistic God. We worship one triune God. So if we worship one God, this concept is false. Never historically do you ever see Christians worshiping Mary as a part of the Trinity. It's completely unbiblical and untrue. But not only is there mistakes within the Quran and the Hadith, but it says these satanic diabolical things to work against anyone who doesn't agree with Islam. And then to make it worse, I'm on Islam question and answers, right, dot info. I'm on an Islamic source, and it's referring to this Hadith that claims Esau will fight him. And I don't read parentheses because they add that. It doesn't say that in the Arabic. Esau will fight him, supported by the Muslims, and he will kill him at the gate of Al-Lad, which is in Palestine near Al-Quds. He will kill him with his spear, as it says in the Sahih Hadith, and the Muslims who are with him will kill a great number of Jews. It's said in the Hadith from the Prophet that the Muslims will fight the Jews and will kill them and gain power over them. And trees and rocks will call out, O Muslim, O slave of Allah, here is a Jew, come and kill him. And Esau will kill the Dajjal and put an end to him. So if you guys don't know who Esau is, they're referring to Jesus Christ. They're basically saying Jesus Christ will come back as the Messiah and kill all of the Jews and put an end to what they call the Dajjal, which is their version of the Antichrist. What they don't realize, guys, is that their quote unquote Messiah is the Antichrist, guys. So who they're looking to come towards, right? Jesus Christ is their Messiah. That is literally the Antichrist, guys. It's very demonic and satanic, the connection that Hitler had with Islam, guys. So this is something I want to I, I want to stress a lot because I want it to be very informative and edifying. I hope this was edifying for you guys. And I hope that this is something you guys can learn from because this is some, something that a lot of people can learn from, Muslims, Christians, non-believers, so that they can see the true reality of Islam. And this is why we have to stop Islam from overtaking the Western world because they already did this with the Middle East and Northern Africa. And look how corrupted it is there. If they do that with the whole Western world, they're just going to grape our woman and then they're going to go ahead and behead us as the men. 
It's very, very sad. So we cannot let them take over our world in the political world. And, and this is not to be political, but it's just to let you know everything that happens in the political world happens first in the spiritual realm. So we must pray against this stuff. We must combat the enemy, guys. We must fast. We must pray. We must actually do actionable steps against the enemy and his kingdom, guys, because everything happens in the spiritual realm before it does in the physical. I hope this video is edifying. If you guys learn anything from it, please go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications, smash that like button, and go ahead and share with other people. I hope you enjoy. God bless.